Hello everybody, it's Silver Shroom, and welcome back to more Sonic Generations. In the last episode, we completed Acts 1 and 2 of Crisis City and rescued Blaze the Cat. Now, we're going to move on to this rather urban-looking stage. And I'm really excited for this one, especially the modern version. Probably my favorite stage in this entire game. It comes from a Sonic game with really mixed feelings among fang fans. Representing Sonic Unleashed, it's Rooftop Run! So yeah, Sonic Unleashed, the main gimmick of that game was that in the night Sonic would transform to the Werehog. People praised the daytime levels saying that it was how Sonic had, should have been for a long time, but of course, people mainly focus on how bad the nighttime levels are. Why? Because we're human beings. Who wants to hear about positive stuff when you can just gripe all day? I played Sonic Unleashed myself. I gotta say, the Wii and PS2 version is just playing awful. But the Xbox 360 and PS3 version is is much better. So I've played I've played Rooftop Run in both versions. It's pretty fun. Of course, not really in the, not so much in the Wii version. As for the Werehog missions, well, I couldn't stand it in the Wii version because the motion controls were so unresponsive. It's, I don't know why. I usually like never have a problem with motion controls. I never complain about them. But then again, this is the same guy who ne who hardly ever even noticed tripping and brawl. And I'm breezing through this level. Wow. No. Okay, that was close. I thought that was a bottomless pit. And I had spoken too soon. Uh, I did speak too soon. So anyway, the Xbox 360 version, obviously there were no motion controls. My, my only real complaint, so my only real complaint there is how many combos there were to memorize. I don't want to memorize combos, I want a button mash. So anyway, bounce up here, and push over this barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Did I seriously just do that? Well, okay, third time's the charm. My other complaint about Sonic Unleashed overall were the moon map. Sun and Moon medals. I'd collected quite a few, but no, I had to replay levels to get stuff, and I mean, okay, I... obviously the levels should have replayability, but not to collect stuff, in... at least not in a Sonic game. Sonic games should be about going fast and, and finding... Finding secrets and hidden routes should be for the more advanced players. Th this game pretty much gets that perfect. And Sonic Colors was pretty good, even though I was terrible at it. See, I'm the right guy to get opinions from. I, I praise a game even when I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Maybe I should do reviews. I, re I really hope Sonic Forces can do it. And now we're climbing up the bell tower, which you did in the... Well, in the Unleashed version, you had to go in... S well, in the... In the... In the night stage, you have to go inside the clock tower and do all this crazy platforming. But, in the daytime, you just spat up at like a speed demon. 
Okay, and now you gotta be precise and try to land directly into the center of the clock. If you miss it, you're not gonna have a good time. Okay, I'm in. Just spin dash. And chime Big Ben. Okay, it's not. But Spagonia, which is where this place is, is based off of Europe. Yeah, they're, they're based on the seven locations in Sonic and Leashed are based off the seven continents. And we're done. Okay, obviously no S rank. But A rank by a long shot. Seriously, you, you shouldn't be tricked out of an S rank. Well, not really tricked just because you lost a single life. If you're fast enough, you should still be able to get that S rank. But even then, it's so hard to get anything less than a B rank. 25, and it doesn't matter. Okay, so now let's move on to Act 2, one that I'm really excited to play. Hopefully, I can do it as well as I remember. This is my escape. I'm running through this world and I'm not looking back. Cause I know I can go where no one's ever gone and I'm not looking back. Mr. Red Star Ring. I messed that up. Okay, so as you, if you've heard the Unleashed version, you'll know that they take they took out the electric guitar and replaced it with a piano. I mean, some people complain about that because people always have something to complain about. Slide under those guillotines so you don't have to worry about timing it. I personally think they both fit. Because let's face it, at least it was a more intense game, so the electric guitar worked better for this. Actually, the stakes are arguably higher since time itself is being erased in this game. But the, this game is overall more lighthearted. Maybe I just feel that way because of Sonic's new voice actor, Roger Craig Smith. Of course, people say he's cringy, and Jason Griffith was way better. I did like Jason Griffith, but I do think Roger Craig Smith captures Sonic as a young hedgehog teen more, a little better. They even made a joke in the Sonic Boom cartoon, it's like... <laughs> Sonic asks Tails to save him, but Tails is like, ROGER! Uh, and then Knuckles says, who's ROGER? And Sonic's like, he's talking to me. <laughs> ROGER! Who's ROGER? He's talking to me. <laughs> Voice actor humor. And I am cruising through this level. Gotta have the quick step. And I have I don't think I've ever crashed like that before. Boost under the spike ceiling. And we're in the home stretch. Thanks so much, Al. Even though it's kind of hard to see the, them coming at this speed, so... Oh. Steer clear of the laser. If you knock enough egg fighters over there, you can hit the blimp itself and it'll drop rings, but I don't... Looks like I didn't do it. And there we go! That was a pretty amazing run, if I do say so myself. And S rank. Okay, 
Okay, and that restores rooftop run. Thanks, Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. That is Vector the Crocodile. He's the boss of Team Chaotix. And he actually says the same thing whether you rescue him with classic or modern Sonic. Someone has to be behind all of this. We gotta take him out, Sonic. How come I cannot do a vector voice? I'm trying, but my voice is not changing at all. <laughs> all right, we're 26 and 27. So that's the end of Roof, Rooftop Run. In the next episode... We're going to take on this stage and rescue our final friend. And then do some more challenges. See ya then.